Good morning, guys. It's King Robert coming to you guys with another video. And before I get started on the video, please like, share, comment. I'll see you in the comments. If you're a rock fan, you could leave. Um, if you comment, I don't even read them anymore. I block them. I'm not wasting my time. It's ridiculous at my big age and most of y'all big age to be arguing about something we are both speculating. But you want to argue me down to the ground? No, mm -mm, we're not doing that at all. Um, I'll just block it. Save you the time. Save me the time. It's about time right now. So I watch the videos and there's something coming down the pipeline. I can't speak on it. Something is coming and we'll all see when it happens. Um, I watched the video. I watched some of the live on Circus of Blues 2 of Krishan talking to the on her live talking about, oh, they're going to sell the house. And I'm going to give you two scenarios. <clears throat> She's talking about they're going to sell the house because from what people were saying in the comments when she was at the courthouse telling Blue Wack was arguing with his dad and Wack was being whack. Um, they were talking so people said they were talking about the house, not kept fences, broken um, dogs or whatever, dog getting out or whatever. Right. Right. So she's talking about they were selling the house. They're going to get them a beach house. It's going to be her, Blue and her dad on the house, on the house they're buying. She's going to be changing her name, implying that they're going to be married. Remember that that rumor that was going around that they were married? I researched it. There was no marriage. Somebody was like, well, in California, it, with any court documents, if you want it, you pay for it, you get it. Let's be clear. All you have to do is pay for it. In any state, I believe. But I know for sure, California, if you want to pick up um, anybody record, you pay for it and you'll get it. Or if you have links. Okay, so she's implying that they're going to get married. She's going to change the baby's name, last name to Porter. Her last name will be Porter, right? She also implied that she um, journey held her hand and she squished her little hand. And you know how baby, she said, you know how mothers, she couldn't say motherly instinct because she doesn't have one. So she just took at mother and the, the person on the other end said motherly instinct because we all know the girl doesn't even know her ABCs, let alone one, two, three. So... She said that, um, what else was some talking points that I got from the, and I'll put the, um, you know, I'll put the screenshot, uh, screen recording at the end of my commentary and some of the screen recording were doubled. The reason they were double because I zoomed into certain things that she said, because a lot of people act like assessing or analyzing or listening is a problem. Listening is part of your senses, right? You see, you hear, you know, you smell, listening is part of your senses. She said something that was questionable. But like I said, I have two talking points and we're going to get there. Um, she discussed that, um, you know, she's no longer going to renew her lease, which is weird because first she said she paid a whole year, right? And that will, some of the dumb payment will go towards her buying because her credit was not good, right? So now she's not renewing the lease. I don't think there's a lease to renew, but neither here nor there. Again, there are certain things that's coming down the pipeline. When it get there, we'll have the discussion. I don't want to pre-speak on it or speak on it. And <clears throat> I hate speaking on stuff. If you've know, listened to my channel, channel, you know I'm superstitious. I don't always like to speak on stuff. Plus, it's, it's, it's gossip. It might be truth to it. But at the same time, I want to wait till it happens. And I could say, oh, remember when I talked about something was coming? Then we'll get into it, right? <clears throat> Also, she talked about the house, which, like I said, I don't believe the story of that house at all. But um, we'll get into that another day, and I'll explain that another day. So she's saying all that, and she's happy, and they're not doing jail talks. She talked about, again, I, I even brought back the video where she's talking about, oh, she was in a jail, and she put the baby on his chest, and then he took the baby on his chest. There was two different versions of how the baby got on his chest. And again, I will stand on what I said because I worked in the prison. So I'll stand on what I said. If she had a video, she would have posted it. I don't care what she talked about. Oh, I didn't want to post a video because if we're, the judge is going to let us do that all the time. So what you're planning for him to be there a lot and you're planning to go to court a lot for that situation. Anyway, he was not in court for this case. He was in court for something else because, you know, he got a lot going on. The dudes that are suing him for the 40 million that is still standing. Marissa, um, Soja Boy, baby. I think her name is Marissa. Soja Boy, baby, Mala, still cases still going forward. Those cases were still pushed through regardless that he was locked up. So I'm not sure which one of them he's going there for, but those are still in process. The lawsuit for defamation and the lawsuit for the 14 mil, those are still in process. So those could have been one of the reasons he was there. Um, if you, 
I have the papers on that as well. Um, and I knew it was coming because I believe one of them had this date for a court hearing. So um, she said all that and I played it back. Like I said, okay, so let me get into my talking points. If I'm a Krishan fan and I want to believe everything she's saying is true. When you look at the video with her standing in front of the courthouse, looking, checking herself out. She's obs- she's obsessed with herself and obsessed with Lou look- liking how she looks. Because remember, she was in the gym talking about she's going to get her workout on and he's not going to look at nobody. He won't have time to look. Then she put her hand over her eyes and just start looking. He won't have time to look at nobody because she's going to be focused on her. Well, before she had the baby, he was never focused on her. After While she was pregnant, he was never just focused on her alone, I should say. And even after the baby, he was never focused just on her alone. So that theory that she has in her head is out the window. She could work out 24 hours a day. He's not, never going to just focus on her. Even if he leaves Jane alone, there'll be a new Jane, right? Or Jane leaves him alone. She's hypersex. Um, hypersexual. Um, that's, look like that's her thing. Her brain, or whenever she was little, or whoever taught her that sex is love, um, that's, all she, that's all she has to bring to the table. I'm not asking Christ. I'm telling you guys. She's she's talking about all oh, our conversation. What conversation? They weren't talking about nothing before he went into court. It was absolutely nothing at all. They were talking about that makes sense. Um, so she was like, we were bonding before we went in. Bonding on what? You were just having a conversation. He's a dude that has twenty four hours a day to do nothing. So guess what? He calls you because you're gonna answer. He calls you because you're gonna answer. Again, I feel bad for Jaden because she's a better woman than me because I could never sit in the same space with the same, mm, not by choice. I would have been like, oh, she here. You got it, boy. You got it. So at the same time, she was so, If we're, I'm a Krishan fan. I'm going to believe everything she's saying. We're bounding before he went into court. The, the sh- judge, she said the judge, the person that was there said the sheriff, let her give him the baby. In all of my years, and I'm not asking anybody, I'm not talking about what I've heard, I'm not talking, in all of my years, I've never heard it. Now, people say that the judges let you, if, mm, California, if you look at the court rules for California, you got to look at the court rules. Now, some judge, it's her, it's her courtroom, or her conference room, she could do what she wants with it. Definitely, absolutely. But if he got up and the bailiff said, let him see the baby, he looked at the baby. You really think the bailiff will say, oh, he could hold the baby like I said yesterday. There's reason you, there's no contact because you could pass paraphernalia. You could pass weapons. You could pass a lot of things when you're touching. That's one of the reasons. But if you go in you know, a prison or somewhere where you could do visit, you usually get, get checked. I have a friend that goes to, to visit their family member every week. I'm not asking you. It's every week. Religiously, don't miss a week. So when she says that, it's like, okay, let me, Krishan knows that nobody's going to get on the internet and argue her, but her foolery on his side, nobody's going to argue her foolery. So she says this stuff and it's exciting. It's salacious. Yeah. I'm one up. I'm one up. I'm one up. You're one up on what? If her and Blueface get married, let's say for a show, because it won't be for, if it's for real. Okay. Kudos to them. How long will it last? been married 27 years you think marriage is just oh we married and it's that's it it's work it's work you hear me and they haven't even put in the work it's the surface level work on what they need to heal both of them to sustain a healthy relationship much less a marriage with a child that needs care okay so fine let's believe that's going to happen so now they have a disabled child that either both of them are going to exploit or this the underdeveloped child that both of them are going to exploit for TV ratings or for shows, right? They're going to get married for a show. Is that why we're going to hint at, oh, they're having the show, The Porters, because he's going to marry her for the show. They're going to marry it in the show. So it's going to be fake. What is it? Secondly, secondly, when I said, um, Ruth, we also saw Wack talking to Krishan outside the courthouse and Jaden was on the left. Could he have been talking about to her about the house that they're getting ready to sell? Because it seems like maybe it's they're trying to get ready to sell the house. Because if you're a musician, you make money through your music. If you're an artist, you make your money through your music, right? You make money through music. You make money through tours. You make spins. 
Who's spinning any of Blueface's song? Who really except from Krishan? The spins on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, all that, you know, I, um, YouTube videos. How many spins is he really getting? And since he's been back with Krishan, quote unquote, I think a lot of people have dropped off of his wave as well, right? So where is his money come from if he's not invested? That's why you see a lot of artists are into other things. They're into clothing. They're into sponsorship. He doesn't have any sponsorship that I've seen except the little ones that he was doing on his IG. They're into sponsorship. They're into um, investments. If you know, you know. You cannot rely on one source of income. So before he was doing his little shows, Virginia was doing their shows, he had money coming. Plus he has stuff that he has to pay off. So his income is not matching his outcome probably right now. He has a mortgage that he has to cover. He has the lights, water. He has those to cover. He has the restaurant that he's restarting. There's no money coming. So that's on hold. He has probably car notes because most of these people don't buy the cars. They lease them or they do notes like regular people. They don't put all that cash on car on their car. If his car is paid for, great. If not, so be it. He has to pay his car insurance. Car insurance on luxury cars are so high. I'm not asking. They are very high. He probably have property tax. Not a probably. That's a must. You have somebody that does your um, bill. You, you have your accountant. So they also got to get paid. Your manager has to get paid. Again, the influx does not meet the outflux. I'm thinking what's going on. So if Jaden has a place and the plan is, okay, depending on how long I'm staying in, because I think Wack was hoping that Blue got out after a couple of days. But we know um, karma has been on his ass and it needs to stay there. Um, so I think they thought he was going to come out in a couple of days, max, maybe 30, 30 you know, two months show him to get back to business, but business is going to fall off because if he has to stay there longer, hopefully he gets out in July 3rd, as they, they're saying, he has to go to court again next month. That is fine. Like again, he has two pen, he has two active cases, lawsuits, just like she has, that he has to deal with. So therefore those are not going away. He would have to probably file He's going to have to probably file bankruptcy. Bankruptcy mean that my income this is what I owe. This is what I'm getting. I cannot pay this debt. He's going to have to f file bankruptcy and probably try to drop those lawsuits off from Marissa. If Marissa gets a judgment or from the judgment he already has, right? Why do I call her Marissa? Soldier Boy's baby mother. <clears throat> that he said he was piping her before the baby shower, before, whatever the heck he said, you know. So he has to deal with, he has to address those. Those are not going away. So while people are saying, oh, she's paying his lawsuit, she's not even paying hers. Um, So that was weird to me. She probably told him to get into a snapshot. He's going to make X, Y, Z among her money, 300000 as they believe. I don't know how the true that is. I heard that's not very true. But again, I'm not even a big fan of Snapchat. So I'm believing she probably was like, he's outside. He knows. He's like, oh, she got, she has following. She gets money. This, that, and the third. Why probably not? He probably got into the Snapchat thing. It probably the revenue is not meeting what she told him. Because, again, who's controlling his Snapchat, right? Why you believe in this girl? Because you thought he, she was good for money when you was out. Her, her steam, her clout, her gas has fell short. So... Even when you look at her live, her live was dropping. And you could look when I, when I played the recording after my commentary, it was dropping. Yes, she got the numbers, but it started falling off when she went on Instagram. I don't know what her numbers was on Snapchat, but on Instagram, it kept falling because I guess people was like, okay, they, don't, they wasn't buying what she was selling. And a lot of people has been to court. And when people speak on stuff, they're speaking on their experience. So she's over there saying all of this. Some saying his influx might not meet his out out outflux or his outflow. So he's have to probably gonna arrange some stuff. Jane have a house, and let's say again, let's say they get married. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go to Krishan. Um, we're gonna start over. We're gonna get married. We're gonna buy a beach house. Which in why would you buy a beach house with you, Krishan, and your dad? Make that make sense for me. Never knew it made sense. This man has eviction on his credit. Um, yeah, because they wanted your tax and all that stuff. But again, she said it's happening. We're going to play from her end that it's happening, right? Why do I need to buy a house with my dad? He has, what is he bringing to the table? He doesn't have to be on, a, on the paperwork for a house. Why? 
What is the need? Why don't you get him a senior citizen home? Since he want to be a young man in a, a young fool in an old body. So that didn't make sense to me. But again, since we are going on her theory, that's what's working. So either he's coming out and he's telling her we're going to use the baby because she probably said, oh, the baby is getting a lot of traction. So he's probably like, okay, we're going to use the baby like he did for the guest station for the video. Baby mama drama. Because all he thinks about is money. Because right now, I think his biggest worries is money. And he doesn't know who's bringing in what. Well, he probably knows what Bridgette is bringing in, but he probably doesn't know what Krishan is bringing in from what she tells him because he knows she lies. So you could say, oh, yeah, she may be right until you see it, right? And the only thing she could spin him on is money. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. I even heard she played a snippet of her song that she's going to drop in July of her and him talking about what they did and how their relationship back together, whatever, whatever. Hope it works. The songs. I hope the song picks up what they think it's going to pick up. I hope it gets what he thinks it's going to get because I think when he gets out and merge with her, if that's the plan, a lot of people will leave it alone. A lot of people are not going to be invested even though they want him to come out. If he comes out and his focus is a marriage, a show with her, I don't think he's going to get what he's thinking he's going to get out of it at all so that is my speaking point if that's what they do here's my speaking point what my mind is telling me and what my ears was listening to she's lying out the door she's lying first she said she did not want to record him holding the baby because if the judge gonna let him do that why would she mess that up papa smurf took a picture of blue face why would he take a picture of him holding the baby not a video a picture secondly if you're saying the judge lets you go to him and y'all got special privilege, why would you get special privilege? And why would he want to hold the baby and not his daughter? And I said that on my video yesterday. That's his daughter. If your daughter is saying dada or daddy, that would have had to mess me up because alone, that would have messed me up knowing I was away from my child, right? How does one child get special treatment? And even if, and I heard that he was, she brought the, she was stood in front of him because they should show him the baby. I believe the the sheriff did tell her to show him the baby. I believe they're not going to let him hold the baby. You could show him the baby. He probably looked at the baby, smiled like they said, like he, and they said when she, Journey was calling daddy, he looked at her and smiled. So everybody got a smile. I believe that. I don't believe anything else. She's talking about, oh, I held his hand and rubbed it and he grabbed mine. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. I believe she went to the courthouse with a snow jacket on with a bra. Because she thought she, again, it's always about sex and up and up. Up and up because you you have she hasn't seen him since he went to court so now she want to look the extra and be like oh he's gonna look at me because I look this and I believe she stood because she wanted him to maybe see him and again when you're in the court there's not a lot of um you don't get a lot of um physical tactile stuff it's not happening because it's business we don't trust you you people are weird and if he had a lot of people in there I know they were gonna limit that because they said his homeboys was there and Black and Jaden yeah they they're gonna put a control on that a lot of y'all not gonna be too close because we're not gonna have this problem and we we don't know if we might need more juries we don't know what you're on we already know he associated with the um gang world so these are stuff that they know already coming into court. So a lot of things would sort of been uncontrolled. Somebody got in my comment. I didn't read the comment. They said, why would they let her stand? I don't think the person said the judge let her stand. Maybe she was comfortable standing. Maybe Krishan didn't trust what was going on. That's why she stayed closer to the door because she knows she has those warrants. I believe that's why she stood at the back because nobody was welcoming her. Nobody was. She was not in no crew. Then people were with Jane. Why would she, where would she push herself up to? She stand back because she didn't know what was going on. and She didn't know what was to expect it. I believe what, that's what the person was saying that was there. So I deleted the comment because I was going to read the comment. I wasn't freaking there. You're asking me stupid question because she said she stood up. She she might have stood up. Maybe the person was saying the judge let her stood up. Like while everybody sit, she allowed her to keep on standing probably was what she meant, you know. So um, she got on the live and she said that we're selling the house and I'm not because, uh, you know, we're working on stuff together. I break that down already. I don't think he's having money the way he was having. I think most of this was pre-planned. He moved Jaden from that house because that house has a lot of traction. It has a lot of bad vibes. He probably knew he had to sell it because remember, he wasn't paying for it. For a while, he wasn't paying for it. He put a lump sum on it to get it out of what it is. But I don't think he's paying for it. So I think it's best that he probably 
turn the house over, either go move and live with Krishan where he's not going to be ha- where he's going to, you know, do what he does. Or he decided to say in his head, I'm going to move with Jaden and my kids and let this house go. Because why worry about two payments? Because usually he takes care of her unless he keeps writing songs for her. Somebody's like, why would he sell the house if he put a studio in it? I think he thinks he didn't. I don't he don't. Nobody planned to go to jail. I don't think he thinks things was going to turn out this way. All these lawyers' fees. He has a lot of attorney fees. Going back and forth to jail, doing paperwork. He has the Las Vegas situation. He didn't listen. So I think a lot of things is coming down on him. And He's sitting in there looking at it now. Like I said, I believe Blue's worried about money back there. I don't think he's worried about Christian, Jane. He's just worried about money, how to get to money. And... <clears throat> Why, again, why does he need his dad name on a house? Why does he need Krishan name on a house? That's mean I'm locked in with you guys with a house. Why would he do that? That made no sense to me. She said that. And she, when you listen to her talk, she sounds like a freaking teenager sitting there just making up stuff. Like she probably tell him these things. And people's like, he probably is in jail. Like, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm, uh-huh. Maybe these are stuff she tells him. And he's like, oh, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, we could do this. Yeah, we could do that. Again, why would he live with his dad? Oh, I guess, I guess, but you don't have to put him on a house paper. Your dad could literally live with you in a house without him being on your paperwork. Secondly, her talking about, oh, she touched the baby. There was no way me and you were going to be in an elevator together with my child. Because as soon as I got in the elevator and you got on, I would have got out or I would have moved out of the way and you would have been on the opposite side. I don't think that happened at all. I think she's putting twenties on ten at this point, I think thirties. Because why would they be in the same elevator to get a make it make sense to me? And if they were, why would you be close to my child when I know you're a dirty three or four? You didn't wash your hand on 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 camera when you was taking a pee or um, poop. And you're going to touch my child when I know you're nasty. And I know Blueface don't tell Jane this girl has some crusty drawers. I know because he talks like a bitch. So I, I don't believe that's happening at all. If it happens, it's for a show. I, again, I believe the house is getting dumped because it's a it's a liability at this point. It's not an asset because he probably don't took out enough money out of it. He can't flip it no more. He probably just got to dump it. Secondly, <clears throat> the baby thing I don't believe happened. Um, this girl just says things to say things, and I will talk about something as my third, my second talking point. She said that, oh, I don't know what they were talking about. She was talking to the girl on on live. I don't know what they're talking about. I see you defending me. What were they talking about? I see you defending me. What were they talking about? And she was like, oh, they were saying that you never gave him the baby or he never touched the baby. Um, She didn't finish what she was saying. Krishan then turned around and said, even Blueface said, why are you lying like that? Now, if he knew he got the baby from her, if he knew that because it's him that got the baby, the baby held his chest, they were rubbing hands. If he was there, he had been the baby. Listen to what I said because I played it a couple times. I played back. I put it a couple times. I played the whole thing and I clipped it and I played it again. If if you give me something, why would I call you? And I said, why are you lying like that? He was the person that got it. It was like they told him she gave somebody something. She said, I gave him the baby. He took the baby. He held the baby like this. The baby was on his chest. Um, we held hands. We rubbed hands. Why would he? tell you why you lie first she said i can lie about something like that then turn around and said blue face even asked me blue even asked me why am i lying like that does that make sense to anybody that would have been like blue would have been like why didn't nobody believe you because i did hold the baby this girl talks and does not think about what she's talking and i swear to goodness that's a mental illness that's an untreated mental illness you guys are watching at watch looking at and the sad part about this it's not going to end well if he don't stop it in the butt. The reason I blame him for all of this stuff, because years ago, you knew she was not stable. Years ago, you knew she has some mental illness. You knew this girl wasn't playing with a full dick. The second day of taping, she's in her drawers crying on um, Bravo in just drawers and bra. She was so okay. When you look at old clips of him around his friends, she's just in bra. And that is something that you take with you anywhere and everywhere. Because she doesn't care. And again, that's what I was told. Chisiki put her out because she probably was, because she would not dress appropriate around her dude. And you already know, you can't even stand next to her dude, much as stand next to him naked or half naked all the time. So again, listen to it. 
I played it twice. I mean, I snipped it twice on there for a reason. That don't make sense. So all that makes me know, he knows she's lying. And he knows a lot because he learned. That's mean if he asked or she said that to him, why would he ask her why are you lying like that? Why would he ask her why are you lying like that? So that means the house story is probably a lie that she's they're selling. I believe they're probably selling it because, like I said, the influx and outflux is not meeting. I believe they are selling the house. I believe that he has to downsize or he has to flip it up or he has to find a way to make money when he get out. On his, if he do, if Vegas don't pick him up, he still has to be on probation for two years without drinking and smoking. How long is he going to be doing that for with Krishan? How long is he going to not drink and smoke with Krishan? Oh, some, I was getting to something. Somebody said, why would he sell his house if he put a bar, if he put a bar underneath the stairs? It'll just give more value when you sell it. Because when you look at his house, and I look at his house, he doesn't have a pool in the back. He has like a, a basic, probably maybe four or five bedroom house that he did some work to, some interior um, painting and stuff. But even his backyard is basic. He doesn't have a big backyard where he has a pool. There's a lot he doesn't have for it to be a mansion, quote unquote. And I'm not knocking it. I believe he lives in a gated community in a sizable house. That he could afford for himself, but I don't think it's that like no big. It has no big value. Well, him putting the improvement. I'm st- let me stand corrected. Him putting the improvement with the bar and then he could add some value. He could say, okay, you have your own winery or you know whatever. You could use that. There's a studio in there. Also, they were saying, um, why would he sell it if he had built a studio in there? Again, he could. That could be like, oh, at a villa, there's a studio, or somebody might use this as a. Something, if it's not an artist, they could probably use it as a private office or something, right? Again, if money is the problem, and I believe money is his biggest problem right now, yeah, he might have to sell. Because even if he said, even if him and Jaden's not together, he's going to take care of her. If she has a house, he got to make sure at least they have something on their own. If he cares about his kids as much as people be pretending or he be acting out. So I don't see this going the way she thinks. I don't see it ending the way he thinks. When I say Jaden is supposed to leave, I understand matters of the heart. It's hard. It's such as your first love. It's hard. But what would be? What would I not do is let you play in my feelings and in my face in public. Because if you knew she was going to be there, or if he, let's say he didn't invite her. Well, he knew she was there. I would have been like, don't come. He would have had to talk to her and be like, don't show up. He knew his dad was there. I would have been like, don't show up. Because why are we playing? Because when you... A woman is only going to do what a man is only going to do what a woman allows. Point blank period. There's no oh he's she's only going to do what she allows, and at this point she's allowing it. And I don't care what kind of support she's giving him. I would have support you from in the bike. I would have support you from yonder. I'm gonna support you from another state, bro. When you call, I'll t- accept your collect call. That's your support. But all this shit that against would have been out the window because at the end of the day, you're playing in my face. She thinks she's playing in my face. And all I'm saying is that he should have had a boundaries with Krishan. My family is off limit. My baby mother is off limit. All that yin yang you want to talk about, you could talk about. But if the day you speak on them, we're through. We're through, or I'm gonna deal with you differently. Because you're not going. Because if you allow disrespect, you cannot stop disrespect. If you allow disrespect, but he's okay with it. He she calls him all kind of bitch ass nigga. She calls him all kind of gay nigga. So it's like he doesn't care. Like I said, he has no self esteem. He has no balls to me. It's just ridiculousness at its best. So listen to it. If you believe what she's saying, you believe it. This is not that. I'm saying it's not true. None of that is making sense what she's talking about. And she's lying through her snugger toot, her missing toot, and everything else. Her baby is eight months a day. Let's see what photo shoot she's going to put out. Let's see what picture they're going to stage. What video will be staged today? At the end of the day, you guys will say what you want at eight months old. He should be sitting on his own the minimum. No, let's skip that. He should be holding his bottle on his own as the minimum. But y'all could go off, believe whatever you all want to believe that this baby is meeting his milestones. Talk about, oh, you're making judgment up for two minutes. Skip. No, I'm a mother first. I was a mother in my teens, so I've been a mother for a minute. I've been around mothers. So I've been around babies. It's just common sense. It's not saying you don't like her. It's saying you like her or call her or her accountable. She was over there talking about, oh, um, she likes um, Callie. 
But um, Kalia was seeming neutral, but she did what she had to do. But if, if it was my mom being a weirdo, I would have told her accountable. Krishan doesn't even know how to spell accountable. First of all, Krishan doesn't even know how to be accountable. So again, there's clips that are being played behind my commentary. None of this F makes sense. But like I said, this is a money thing right now. And that's all this is. He's making moves with money because he doesn't have it coming in the way he thought the money's not coming in how he wants it to come in and that's where the problem is and she's also co-signing people because somebody said something that makes so much sense she was on live with this person they said it's a hate page towards Jaden. if she cared anything about blue and his kids but we all know that's not true he wouldn't he would have told that girl okay i know you don't speak for me but certain things i don't want you to push because that doesn't speak for me but it's easier when you sit back and let somebody do the dirty work for you. Like Smiley was in the car talking about, oh, I've never seen this in all the cases. Because it's not true. Smiley is a big fat liar. Fat, I exaggerate. It is not true. They got up with that. They sit there and they come up with schemes and lies by themselves that don't make damn sense. If you had never seen it, what was she talking about? Oh, I prayed and we got, no, you didn't. Because God have her and do not disturb. He have her on DNR. Do not resuscitate at this point. <clears throat> Anyway, do not resuscitate. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the comment. Look at the video. Listen to what this girl is saying. Tell me if it's making sense. If this is not a money ploy right now. And he's thinking she probably got, he could give her probably more access to money. That's why he's probably selling her these dreams. But might not know that it might not work out his plan. Because again, God don't bless no mess. But the devil do pass out blessings. The devil do pass out blessings. And even if they got married, it would not work out. Marriage is a lot of work. It's not a plaything. It's not something for a show. It's not a gimmick. It's real life work. See, the ceremony is a ceremony. The work is after the ceremony. We got to live day in and day out. Have arguments. Have constructive conversation. Take constructive criticism. Have a conversation that she cannot have. And when she's asked questions that she cannot answer, her first thing is to go off because she's not grown yet. But it neither is he. But I wish them luck. I wish them luck. I wish them the kids and all that that they want. And I wish Jaden would find it. Eventually, I hope she she leans into her support system, find the strength, and just support this man from a distance. I'm not saying to leave him alone because that's not going to be easy for her because I guess he's still lying. Like I'm not guessing. He's lying to both. He's probably telling her one foolishness and telling the other idiot another foolishness. But I would have been like, no, nah, I got to see what you're doing. And then we're going to play off another. When you get out, let me see what you're about. Let me see what you're talking about. Or better yet, let's be fair. They're not even together, but the support would have had to be minimum. I would have had to dial it back because let's be clear, he did. they did say they're not together. I would have had to dial it back. <clears throat> it wouldn't have made sense. Or like I said, all of this is to make sure he gets everything out of his name and did that lawsuit. So maybe all of this is a play on Krishan. So the lawsuit does not affect Jaden. There's a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, when it comes down, I'll break it down. But let's see how it plays out. Because the last time I said, my source said that Drake was not going to reply to Kendrick. But he did. So again, I know I have to trust sources with my one eye, my one good eye. So again, we'll see. There's something coming. There's something coming. It might shock a lot of people. If that's what, if what I was telling was true, it's going to shock a lot of people. But let's see. Let's see it play out. I'm not saying it's coming in a couple of weeks, in a couple of days, it might, or a couple of months, but something is coming. And we're all going to be tuning in, watching the foolery, but let's see what comes out of it. Until next time, see you guys in the comment. Again, like, like, like. Don't forget to like the videos. I haven't been saying it, but I haven't got, I've been sick and all crazy stuff, but like the videos, please. Share, comment. Till next time, again, peace. It was my prayer really did move something in the courtroom because I just felt different. Like, um, the homies was there, everybody was there. And then when I stood up, you know, what we could do, well, I should have just kissed him. You should have just grabbed him. You should have put him in your back pocket, sitting with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was cool. I, we didn't expect that. I expect that but it was like okay i cause the reason why i say i expect stuff like that is because i be praying for miracles all the time so when i see a little miracle in between the situation i be like what okay zoe what they talking about uh, can we walk and go touch him and kiss him and stuff um it was beautiful for real because it was like we was bonding on the phone the whole entire time before we went in 
and then like it was like we got like special privileges like oh okay cool okay but I was so nervous like all I did was grab his hand I just put the baby on his chest he was holding him and then so can we walk and go touch him and kiss him and stuff um, it was beautiful for real because it was like we was bonding on the phone the whole entire time before we went in and then like it was like we got like special privileges like oh okay cool okay but i was so nervous like all i did was grab his hand i just put the baby on his chest he was holding him and then bro i'm still shocked bro. i'm never in I my life seen like, somebody i never seen that Especially i should have kissed him i didn't know what to do and you could tell he was scared like I couldn't do too much. We don't know what we could do. Well, I should have just kissed him. You should have just grabbed him. You should have put him in your back pocket, took him with you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was cool. Uh, we didn't expect that. I expect that, but it was like, okay. I, cause the reason why I say I expect stuff like that is because I be praying for miracles all the time. So when I see a little miracle in between the situation, I be like, what? Okay. Zoe, what they talking about? I am Zoe. Why are you on here, y'all? My bad, y'all. You know, I, I ain't trying to come on here and be crying and shit, but, you know, I miss my baby daddy. I don't... And, you know, I would have kind of get a video, but I don't want to mess that situation up. Like, if that's going to be every time I go to the courtroom... And she said I can, he can see the baby like that and hold him and shit. I'm not posting no video in no courtroom. Like, I'm not doing none of that. Like, you feel me? That shit will all wait. When we get through this shit, then y'all can see the behind the scenes and what we got. But, uh -uh, all that. Huh? I'm so happy for you. That was just like, I just can't get that picture out of my head. Like, that was a beautiful moment. I ain't gonna lie. I've never seen that. What? And I'd have been to 50 court days. Somebody letting them in and giving them baby. I've never seen that on my on everything I love. Right, me too. That was cool. Well, Journey, she, she, um, when we was in the elevator, she grabbed my jacket and I uh -huh. gave her a little uh -huh. squeeze on her hand. She's so, she's so adorable. She's precious. Nice the whole time up. she was looking, she was looking at me like it was so cute. Like when um, Aww. I guess like when we made eye contact, she kept staring at me, and I guess she kept staring at the baby. And then I felt something because like a mother, I don't a mother know, I just knew like she, instinct for sure. Yeah, yeah, I just knew that she knew like the little baby. Like I, I met the little baby before, but um, seeing nice her again, she just seeing her again, I was just like um, oh my god, like. She kept looking at me and stuff, and then she was like, I don't know, she was saying, like, things, like, what babies do. And then that's when, um, what's the name? She, tur she, tur she turned her baby towards her so she could start, like, Inter making interacting talks. with you. Yeah, she was interacting with me, and I couldn't help it. And then, you know how babies lit up yeah. when we, like, you see uh, Yeah, because they could feel the spirit. Yeah. They could feel that. And then, um, when we got in the elevator... Uh, I guess one of the homies had the babies not on. She wasn't on nobody's shoulder right there, but she was getting held by somebody that was behind me. That was so blue. she starts she starts uh pulling on my uh fur coat, and I was like, "Hi, beautiful!" And then like you know, gave her a little squishy on her hand, like she was cute. Oh, that's what's up. I don't got no hate with none of this. I really um. I'm, and I know I'm, you don't. And I tell people I don't speak for you. So however you feel is how you feel. But go ahead. <laughs> y'all gonna get a new house or y'all gonna stay in the same house when he get oh out? Oh my god. So we're buying a house on the beach. Ooh, that's gonna be bomb. Yeah, I don't even know if I should have said that. But you um, probably shouldn't have, but that's okay. <laughs> <Shut the fuck. laughs> That is okay, girl. Yeah, God, God, God covered it. It's cool. But um, yeah, that's that's what we're doing. That's why um so me, I was either 
like, say if I wasn't going to get back with Blue or whatever, I was going to renew my lease and then um, actually start owning the house because I was doing a rent-to-buy contract. Mm -hmm. So then... Um, so you going to let it go? Yeah, because I really want to focus on this beach house. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a waste of money, especially if it you is. Really and then, it. And, like, uh, the way it's going to be set up is going to be so cool. Like, you know, my name, his name... The dad's name upset. on the house. Like, we're just going to do it the right way. Um, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm happy he got to see Junior today. Junior probably know his voice because y'all be on the phone uh, he, all the time. He grabbed his chest. And I was just, I was just memorized, bro. I gave him the baby like this, right? And then this is him. He, he did this, but his hands, he couldn't move his hands. His hands was like this. And, um, and <laughs> sorry, baby. His hands was like this, holding the baby. And that's how the baby was, like, looking up like this and then grabbing on his chest. And I was just ho holding his back to make sure he don't fall or whatever. And then I, I forgot that I could touch him because I never see, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you was shocked. Yeah, so, and then you can, and then when I grabbed his hand and, and was just holding it and rubbing it, he grabbed it back. Are you changing Junior's name when Blue get out? Um, um I mean, my name changing and and the baby's last name changing oh so, shit so uh no for real i'm not oh, making it up shit. but um the baby name going to change when my name change just the last name yeah just the last name okay yeah i don't know i don't really come over the side of the the house so there's this room there's this room and then I guess this will be junior room but I made it to my closet not like that but <laughs> I did it's clothes everywhere on the couch and stuff and it's a random ass uh fuck I'm getting blood on this white carpet let me stop playing Kelly always been transparent we kind of got yeah, I like I like her. So I, I always had a lot in uh, common with her and shit. And um, like I said, it's like I don't pick. I don't see nobody picking at any side over their mother's side. Right. If they're wrong, right. right. Um, I feel like she was aware of who was wrong and who was right, and then had to do what she's supposed to do. Same name. You feel me? So um, but you know me, I'm different though. Like, say if my mama was some messy weirdo, right? Yeah, you would you would call yeah. it out, especially if it's family. I'm holding her accountable, and I'm really I'm really gonna protect my peace and what I got going on because that can fall on my plate, and I and, and ruin relationships and blessings that could have been for me. But my mom was so selfish that you know. <laughs> oh, his sister. I'm 